Hi all, this is Tim Olson with Evolution Software. In today's 5 and 5, we're going to present five useful tips for dimensions. Our first dimension tip has to do with setting and modifying attributes for your dimensions. To set our dimension attributes, we're going to use the inspector. To pick up the inspector, click the I in the prompt menu area and click over to the fifth icon from the left. Note dimension text values are set separately than text entities. From the dimension tab, we can set font values such as the type, the size, and the style. From the value tab, we can pick from existing standards, create our own standards. We can pick placements of the text above, below the leader lines, and uh, arrow sizes. Uh, the last tab, tolerances, lets us uh, specify whether we want leading, trailing, zeros, for example, on our dimension. Let's go ahead and create a dimension. And we're going to go ahead to uh, and set it to a standard ANSI. And we're going to pick a tool. We're going to pick a smart dimension tool. And let's go ahead and just uh, pull out a dimension value on our, on, our, on our line. Note the inspector will tell you in the upper portion of the dialog box whether it's modifying or setting the default for dimensions. In this case, something is selected. And the, the inspector is allowing us to modify them. Clicking so that nothing is selected, the dimension properties are new. These, these are attributes that will be applied to any new dimension that is, that is created. Another method for quickly setting your dimension attributes is to use the eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool will copy all attributes from one dimension type to another just by clicking on the two. And one more, my particular favorite for setting dimension attributes, is to right click on top of the dimension and access the font type, size, and style. This tip addresses modifying dimension text. Note that when you select a dimension, in the data entry window and the inspector, you'll see a pound sign. The pound sign indicates you use the measured value on the displayed text of the dimension. If you remove it and replace it with other text, you'll see your dimension updates. Also, you can pre and post append text to your dimension. For example, let's add in a string before our pound sign, and then we'll add a string after the pound sign. One other little known feature of dimension text is you can add multi-line text by using some special characters. Let's go ahead and pull our dimension over to the side and Let's go ahead and delete our pre and post that we previously put in. And now let's add in a backslash capital P. And this is our new line. And you'll see that it's appended the information after the uh, backslash P to the bottom of the dimension. In our next tip, we show how to create a stacked fraction off of our dimension. Go ahead and select the dimension that you want to have stacked and go to your standards and pick stacked fraction. Now, if you'd like to control the, the fraction size, go to tolerance and under the linear pull down menu, you can control the, the fraction that gets used. In our next tip, we'll show how you can quickly align dimension text so that they're on the same height using the Align tool. Let's go ahead and pull out our Align tool, and we're going to pick the second tool icon from the left, Align, and we're going to pick Align, align Bottoms. And we'll go to our text, our dimension text, select all the ones that we want to align, and then specify the point that you want them all aligned to height-wise. So we'll pick everything to align with our last dimension. And you can see they all aligned at the same uh, Y value. You may be aware the Smart Dimension tool can do horizontal, vertical, and parallel dimensions just placed in where the mouse is. But in addition, the Smart Dimension tool can uh, dimension between endpoints and center points and maintain associativity. Let's go ahead and create a dimension between the center point of these two circles 
And let's also create a dimension, a minimum distance between the two circles. And I'll just hold down the shift key and I'll get a point on between the two. Now, when we go ahead and move either one of these circles, the dimensions will go ahead and update for us. Thanks for watching. If you would like to have more tips and videos, please visit us at www.mastervacad.com.